Good evening. This is Akashwani and I am Nishit Kumar with the news at 9. The headlines. ISRO successfully completes first integrated airdrop test to ensure safe crew module recovery for Gaganyaan human space flight mission. Made in flight test of integrated air defense weapon system conducted successfully by DRDO to effectively intercept aerial threats. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says India has a great opportunity to become truly self-reliant at a time when world is going through instability. Home Minister Amit Shah says democracy flourishes only when legislatures follow the basic mantra of prudence, deliberation and legislation. Union Food Minister Prahlad Joshi says more than 1 crore beneficiaries from Punjab will continue to get free food grains refutes allegations of Punjab government in this regard and in sports Ashwari Pratap Singh Tomar wins gold in the 50 meter rifle three position event at the Asian Shooting Championship in Kazakhstan And now the news in detail ISRO has successfully accomplished the first integrated airdrop test IADT01 for end-to-end demonstration of parachute-based deceleration system for Gaganyaan missions. It was a critical exercise to validate the parachute system that will bring back astronauts safely under the mission from its spaceport. This test is a joint effort of ISRO, Indian Air Force, DRDO, Indian Navy and the Indian Coast Guard. The test was designed to evaluate the full suite of parachutes that will slow down and stabilize the crew module during re-entry and splashdown of the actual human spaceflight mission. We are more from our correspondent. During the test demonstration today, a mock crew model was released when Chinook helicopter and the parachute deployment was tested. It involved extraction, drogue chute activation and main parachute deployment. Today's success highlights India's growing technological capabilities and its position in the global space community. The unmanned Gaganyaan mission is planned in December and manned mission in 2028. The Gaganyaan mission aims to carry a three-member crew to an orbit of about 400 kilometers for up to 3 days before safely returning them back to Earth. Sudhendra Akashwani News, Bengaluru. The Defence Research and Development Organisation DRDO successfully conducted the maiden flight test of the integrated air defence weapon system IADWS off the coast of Odisha yesterday. IADWS is a multi-layered air defence system comprising all indigenous quick reaction surface to air missile, advanced very short range air defence system missiles and a high powered laser based directed energy weapon. In a social media post defense minister Rajnath Singh congratulated the DRDO the Indian Armed Forces and the industry for successful development of integrated air defense weapon system Defense minister Rajnath Singh today said that India is fully prepared for its first ever human space flight mission named Gaganyaan and this is not just a technological achievement but a new chapter in the journey of a self-reliant India The defense minister said this while addressing the felicitation ceremony in New Delhi of Gaganyaan three's group captains Shubhanshu Shukla Prashant Balakrishnan Nair Ajit Krishnan and Angad Pratap who have been selected for this mission हमारा कंट्रीब्यूशन केवल स्पेस में उपग्रह भेजने तक सीमित नहीं है आज भारत चंद्रमा से लेकर मंगल ग्रह तक अपनी उपस्थिति दर्ज करा चुका है आज भारत गगनयान जैसे मिशन के लिए भी पूरी तरह तैयार है क्यों मैं इसे केवल तकनीकी उपलब्धि के रूप में नहीं देखता बल्कि आत्मनिर्भर भारत का नया अध्याय है जहाँ हम विश्व की बड़ी स्पेस पावर्स के बीच खड़े हो रहे हैं Speaking on the occasion group captain Shubhanshu Shukla who recently made history by becoming the first Indian to travel to the International Space Station reflected on his journey he credited his training in the Indian Air Force for preparing him to face challenges with confidence whatever i have done whatever i have gone through and whatever i have achieved i feel that the background that i had or the preparation that i had for years by being in this uniform and by being in the air force that any one of us who sitting here would have done an equally good job and that is the confidence i carry with me whatever life throws at you the kind of character that air force has built up for all the people sitting here prime minister narendra modi said that the path to a developed india lies in building a self reliant india 
virtually addressing the inauguration of Sardar Dham Phase 2 Girls Hostel in Ahmedabad. The Prime Minister said that at a time when the world is going through instability, India has a great opportunity to become truly self-reliant. He called upon the youth, especially young boys and girls, to adopt Make in India products for securing a better future for the coming generations. Emphasizing India's demographic strength, the Prime Minister reiterated his government's commitment to empowering and skilling the youth. He noted that through various schemes such as the Mudra Yojana and the recently launched PM Viksit Bharat Yojana, the union government is creating new avenues of employment and entrepreneurship for young people. Prime Minister Narendra Modi will be on a two-day visit to Gujarat tomorrow. On the first day of his visit, Mr. Modi is scheduled to inaugurate multiple development projects worth 5,400 crore rupees in Ahmedabad. Following the inauguration, he will also address a public gathering. On the second day of his visit, Prime Minister will inaugurate localized production of hybrid battery electrodes and flag of battery electric vehicles exports to 100 countries at Hansalpur in Ahmedabad. Union Minister J.P. Nadda called on the visiting Fiji Prime Minister Siti Veni Rabuka in Delhi this evening. The Prime Minister of Fiji arrived in New Delhi this morning on a three-day visit to India. The Fijian Prime Minister is accompanied by his spouse Sulueti Rabuka. The delegation include Minister of Health and Medical Services Ratu Antonio Lala Balavu and senior officials. The Fiji Prime Minister is scheduled to hold talks with Prime Minister Narendra Modi tomorrow. He will also call on President Draupadi Murmur. The Election Commission has said that documents of more than 98% electors have been received till now to file claims and objections to the draft electoral roll of Bihar. In a statement, the Commission said that eight more days are left for people to file claims and objections. The poll body also underlined that the claims and objections period allows the electors to not only rectify mistakes in the draft rolls, but also submit the requisite documents which they may not have provided while submitting their enumeration forms. This is Akashwani giving you the news. For quick news updates around the clock, follow us on our X handle at AIR News Alerts. And for details of these stories and more, log on to our website, newsonair.gov.in and download the News on AIR app. Welcome back to the news at nine. Union Home Minister Amit Shah today said democracy flourishes only when legislatures follow the basic mantra of prudence, deliberation and legislation. Inaugurating the two-day All India Speakers Conference at Delhi Assembly in Delhi, Mr. Shah said democracy can reach its highest and dignified heights only when people rise above partisan interests and place national interests first. विवेक विचार और विधान तीन ही चीजों पर विधानसभा का और लोकसभा राज्यसभा का पूरा काम निर्भर है जब ये तीन चीजों का पूरा सम्मान सभापति के द्वारा किया जाता है तब अपनी पार्टी के हित से ऊपर उठकर विधानसभाएं देश का और प्रदेश का विचार करती है लोकसभा देश का विचार करती है he added that when discussions in the House are stalled, the role of the legislature in the nation's development is greatly diminished. He remarked that without meaningful debate in the corridors of Parliament and assemblies, they will become merely lifeless buildings. Union Minister for Consumer Affairs, Food and Public Distribution, Prahlad Joshi, has said that 1.41 crore beneficiaries from Punjab would continue to get free food drains. He said the centre has not reduced even a single beneficiary under the National Food Security Act 2013. Our correspondent reports that he was reacting to allegations made yesterday by Punjab Chief Minister Bhagwant Maan that the central government is going to stop free food grains to 55 lakh poor Punjab residents. Addressing the media in New Delhi, Mr. Joshi said that the allegations of Punjab government are baseless and untrue. Punjab ke Mukhya Mantri Shri Bhagavant Maan Ji ne a media ko brief kiya hai, tweet bhi kiya hai, ki total 55 lakh logon ko hum rashan Bharat Sarkar se काट रहे हैं तो ये बिल्कुल गलत है भगवंत मान जी किस प्रेशर से आके ये ट्वीट कर रहे हैं मुझे मुझे समझ नहीं आ रहा है the government has denied rumors that train tickets have been discontinued and now passengers will no longer get tickets the fact check unit of the press information bureau clarified no such order has been issued by the railway ministry and any rumor being circulated on the social media is fake. It added that the train tickets are available at the counter of railway stations and official websites. It has urged people to not fall for such news and trust only information obtained from official sources.
Russian Foreign Minister Sergei Lavrov today accused the Western countries of trying to block peace negotiations to end the Ukraine conflict. This follows a flurry of diplomatic activity which appeared to stall the progress. Russia has blamed Western countries for not wanting to talks to come through. In an interview with the state TV station Rossiya, Mr. Lavrov said they are just looking for a pretext to block the negotiations. Israeli warplanes have hit several sites in Yemen's capital Sana today, including an area near the presidential palace and an oil depot. Explosion shook Sana after Israeli airstrikes hit Houthi missile bases. Local officials say at least two people were killed. The strikes mark a sharp escalation in hostilities between Israel and the Iran-backed Houthis. Indian shooter Ashwara Pratap Singh Tomar has won gold medal in the 50-meter rifle three-position event at the 16th Asian Shooting Championship in Shimkane, Kazakhstan. He scored 462.5 points to finish on top. China's Wenyu Zhao won the silver medal with 462 points, while Japan's Naoya Okada claimed bronze with 445.8 points. Anushka Kumari fired a stunning hat-trick as India Under-17 women maintained their perfect record in the SAF Under-17 Women's Championships 2025 thrashing host Bhutan 8-0 at the Changlim Thang Stadium in Thimpo today. India now have nine points from three matches ahead of Bangladesh and Nepal who have three points each. Bhutan is still without a point. Indian badminton stars Lakshya Sen and PV Sindhu are set for tough opening matches at the BWF World Championships starting tomorrow in Paris. Lakshya, ranked 21st, will face top seed Shi Yu Ki, who leads their head-to-head 3-1. Foreign investors pumped in 6,207 crore rupees into the Indian debt markets this month so far. However, as per the depository's data, Foreign portfolio investors or FPIs have pulled out 22,040 crore rupees from the Indian equity markets till last week ending on the 22nd of August. The India Meteorological Department IMD has issued an orange alert for heavy to very heavy rainfall over northwestern parts of the country for the next two days. According to the IMD, heavy to very heavy rainfall is expected at isolated places over Gujarat, Odisha, Rajasthan and Uttarakhand till the 26th of this month. Heavy rainfall is also very likely at isolated places over Arunachal Pradesh, Assam, Meghalaya, Bihar, Chhattisgarh, coastal Andhra Pradesh, Haryana, Punjab, Delhi, Himachal Pradesh, Jammu and Kashmir, Ladakh, Gilgit, Baltistan, Muzaffarabad, Uttar Pradesh, Jharkhand, Konkan and Goa, Madhya Pradesh, Sub-Himalayan, West Bengal and Sikkim tomorrow. In our bilingual live phone-in program Public Speak tomorrow at 9.30 p.m., we will bring an insightful discussion on regulation of online gaming with S. Krishnan, Secretary, Ministry of Electronics and Information Technology. During the program, the listeners will have an opportunity to ask our expert questions related to various aspects of new law on online gaming, curbing addiction from online gaming and how to ensure safety from financial ruin. To participate, simply dial in the telephone numbers 011-2371-7117 and 011-233-144-44, 9.30pm onwards tomorrow. Alternatively, you can also send your queries via WhatsApp to the number 928-909-4044 or post your questions on X with the hashtag AskAIR. And now, before we end the bulletin, the headlines once again. ISRO successfully completes the first integrated airdrop test to ensure safe crew module recovery for Gaganyaan human space flight mission. Maiden flight test of integrated air defense weapon system conducted successfully by DRDO to effectively intercept aerial threats. Prime Minister Narendra Modi says India has a great opportunity to become truly self-reliant at a time when the world is going through instability. Home Minister Amit Shah says democracy flourishes only when legislatures follow the basic mantra of prudence, deliberation and legislation. Union Food Minister Prahlad Joshi says more than one crore beneficiaries from Punjab will continue to get free food grains, refutes allegations of Punjab government in this regard. And in sports, Ashwarya Pratap Singh Tomar wins gold in the 50-meter rifle three-position event at the Asian Shooting Championships in Kazakhstan. And that's all in the news at 9. Good night.